In this video, we're gonna go over how to sort lists in ServiceNow San Diego UI. We're also gonna look at our breadcrumbs a little bit and see what's changed there. Now, as you can see, I've already gone into all search for incidents and clicked on all, and I do have this pinned open, which is why it hasn't hidden away just yet. Now here I've got my list of incidents, of all my incidents. If I wanna do a simple sort, it's as simple as clicking on the header. So here by doing it by opened, I'm automatically changing whether it's sorting based off of the date and time from newest to oldest or oldest to newest. And I can do that on any of these header fields. If I come up to the top, I also have my option to search for specific items with inside my list. Now, if I come here over to my list controls, you can see I can change between my different views, but here's where I have my filters and my ability to group by based off of all the options and variables with inside this list. Now, what happens if I need to do a sort that's slightly more complicated? Well, in the past, we've always had our breadcrumbs and you see right here, we have our all breadcrumb, but nowhere to build out our breadcrumb. ServiceNow hasn't changed the breadcrumb at all. All they've done is move our filter icon up here and I can click on that. You can see this looks just like any other filter. Now, if you're new to this, what this allows me to do is build complex sort lists with inside my list. So what I can do is hit the drop down here. And yeah, I could do something like keywords or active, but let's do something like color to begin. And we can say our color is Joe employee. And we could run that search. And now I'm only gonna get incidents that Joe employee has opened. You can see my how condensed my list has become. We're down to just 12 here. If I wanna undo that filter at any time, I click on all, it'll always take me back to the baseline. We've got our 67 within here. Open my filter up again. Let's go to open this time. And we can set a date range if we'd like. Let's say it's between last week and today we can run that and see that there are no uh, incidents that have been opened during that time. So I can come in, I can use my breadcrumbs, I can use the and or filters to build out more complex breadcrumbs as I need and sort my list as needed. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next video in navigation.